Hi, it's Kim from the Shamrock Quilt Studio. We're working on this project, Miss Kelly, and it's a lot of applique, and there's a lot of different colors in here. And I found most of what I needed in my drawer of threads, although I'm getting a little low on that, right? I've only had to go out and buy one spool because I had most of these in my, like I said, in my drawer. Uh, some of them are quite old, but because they're just attaching them on to the background, I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. However, if you did not have this variety of colors in your sewing stash, you could use simply varying colors of gray to stitch all of these pieces onto the background. You could use the lighter gray for the lighter colors. See, you can't even see it, can you? Just keep your stitches really small and make sure you place them so you don't see it in the finished product. Then for the darker fabrics, you could use the darker gray. And again, if you keep those stitches small, you're not going to see it. The only thing you might have is a situation where you have a really dark. You're going to have to watch and see if you can use uh, this kind of color gray or if you need to go to something a little darker. Now when I look here, something like that purple, you might try a navy. It's awfully dark though. And you're usually better off to do something a little lighter versus a little darker. And it was the purple that caused me to go out and get a new spool of thread. And in this situation, I got something that matched the lighter purple and I used it on the darker purple as well. And you can't see it. So that's my little tip for today. If you don't have the colors you have that you think you need, try shades of gray because they blend well and they tend to be almost invisible when you're doing your stitches. Thank you for more tips and tricks on our projects and other projects for sewing. Join us at the Shamrock Quilt Studio. We have videos every week on all types of pro projects, applique, EPP, strip piecing, and hand quilting. We'll see you there.